in between mm-hmm. Detroit and Chicago. Okay. Um, and like Derek Jeter's from there. Greg Jenny, shout out them boys putting on for the city as legends. But any uh, anywho, um, it's just coming from a small town and I always refer to not having a skyline. You we don't have a skyline. So when I moved to really? even to Minneapolis and seen a skyline, it's like me that was always nostalgic to me. So when I got to Houston, it was even crazier. So I've always been attached to big cities from traveling to them as a kid, coming up with my parents and go to Florida and all that. And then you go back home to the small town. And right. Just, so it was like, but the art was all, I think that's why it allowed me to stay true to myself because I come from, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's real because um, a lot of artists say when they move to Houston, Texas, they actually get a good break. Yeah. So how how did uh, my I, was, I say my people because I was born and raised here my whole life. Yeah. How did we treat you like on the music side? Of oh things? man, I've been nothing. I, I I can't I can't complain. That's great. Used to be good to me. Like this is my second home. I got three kids here, uh, born and raised, uh, being born and raised here. Um, I got a baby that's born on June twenty seventh. You feel oh, me? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Made that happen. Nice. <laughs> like, made June that 27th, happen. baby. Screw baby. <laughs> But no, nah, Houston be good to me, man. Like, uh, shout out to my homie, Christopher Johnson, um, one of the owners at nice. Live Oak. You know, he's he's a Houstonian that really took me in. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my big homie, Chill. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, I can go DJ on and Chill? on. Nuh-uh. Oh, one, okay. I, I didn't know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's Chill Jackson, man. I call him <laughs> Chill Jackson, man. Okay. The man Cole. Like, Phil Jackson. Another you know artist. Uh, he does music, too. He okay. owns uh, Good Times Hookah. You know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah, nice. it's a dope spot. You should check it out. I will, got, cause got you said hookah. I'm I'm big on hookah. Oh yeah, you gotta check. It. It's dope. It's dope. I I DM you to join. And they serve food and stuff. You straight. Oh, see. You know what I'm saying? Just tell them. Just tell them not to refer me. Okay. When I wonder if they open now, cause there's so much stuff going on and shut down. But for they sure. still do. They still doing as much as they can. And, okay. Um, the dope. The poetry nights is dope on Tuesdays. Certain Tuesdays they do the, the live. It's super. dope. Okay, yeah, cool. So, but in a nutshell, to answer your question, um, I just believe in being, you know, art, artists. You know, I right. really take that to heart. You know what I'm saying? So I don't dumb it down too, oh. too much. So we we were talking about the recording process in different studios you yeah. hit up that was just yeah. not professional. How, <laughs> you know, cause I like to get the realness because yeah. a lot of people see what we do and they look at it like. It's easy. I'm gonna do it. No, nah. it's just like it it's, don't work like that. Yeah, not real art. It, it don't. I mean, you wanna if you wanna do it at a high level. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be disappointed until you find uh, like-minded people, which you will. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are we here? You know what I'm saying? You got. It. So it's like, if you wanna do it at a high level, man, you just have to see others that do it at a high level. Because for a long time, we, I'm you a creator. I'm pretty sure for the for a, a few times you've dealt with people that just wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Um, you want, and you don't know till you know. I don't know you got bad business until I do business. With unfortunately. You. you know what I'm saying? And um, so it's like, I, I, the recording process is a process. Man. I don't I don't write in the studio. You don't? Come, which is good. Cause I, I come don't to either. the studio, it's done. We banging out five records. They all getting tracked. You know so you write at the house? I or write at the house. It's real. It makes sense. Yeah. It's the realest. I might be in traffic. You know what I'm saying? This thing right here, man, this is a it's studio. A phone, right? I mean, uh, so I be in traffic. I'm always creating organically. Not, we gonna go to the studio, put on the beat, and less. I mean, it works. But mm, why not? Why not? You're right. Yeah. It gotta be a special moment in exactly. the conglomerate of real life people that really do it. So, I gotta come already ready. I no, go to the I, lab I by like myself. That. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I don't have, like I just like to create the process, man. It's not a, it's not. You being, you being, you paying for it by the hour. I'm two songs an hour. Track. Let's go. That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, that's what you. And then that, if you think about overhead and paying and and financing, being independent, you gotta cut these. You gotta cut costs. I can book a two-hour session and get four records tracked. If you know your shit. You feel me? Yeah. And I don't even really need playing. this by the time I get... I don't even really use my iPhone the whole time when I'm tracking now because I go over it so much. 
that I want my delivery in the booth to be hands free. Cause even this right here, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the re the recording process, man. It, so imagine trying to do all of that in a studio just, that's just not ready. I couldn't imagine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's where ahead. you come, and that's how I landed. You know what I'm saying? Amongst the greats, man. <laughs> <laughs> the greats, especially mm -hmm. the ones that you said you mentioned in Houston. Yeah, yeah. But man, man, I've been when I first got here, man. I was in the lab with Devin the dude. I was in the lab with. Will Hen and Malice Legendary. when the product, of course. The dude, I was in the lab with Will Hen and Malice, and uh, when the product dropped, when Face had them, like I mean, I was in the lab with Damo, which is um, uh, I've, the the producer for for Devin. Yeah, you I know what I'm saying, say and a lot of others, name. man. So I was around a lot, but one thing about me, I always, if we ain't creating, I'm gone, and that's no shade to nothing. No, but if we ain't creating, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Cause when the art's out, then we could party. Then I could pop my shit. Right. When the art out, you know what I'm saying. And then if I drop art after art, and not my enemies, but it's a competition, right? Mm -hmm. If 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 they didn't drop, and I drop, and then I drop again, I lapped you. I take pride in that type of shit. Yeah. Out working, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's competitive. You know, it's all. I mean, I got people I I aspire with. We've been going back and forth on records here and there for some time now, but it's respect. You know what I'm saying? But right. who peeing sharper? You know what I'm saying? And then, matter of fact, it got to the point where, forget all that, man, who dropping albums every year? Huh? Who dropping albums every year? Like, that's what I, I base it on. So are you a group or are you a solo uh, artist? This is the thing. It's not a solo artist, okay. right? Famous people. This is the brand. It's a lifestyle. Like, it's not a label. You'll never hear me say, man, I'm a CEO. I'm a... You know, I make a profit off this, but it's not. It my homie that this name famous. Mm -hmm. You see how it's spelled F A M I S. Yeah, I see that. That's my homie that died, that lost his life to gun violence in Minneapolis. That's sad. Right, but we did music together. When I first got to Minnesota, them the first boys that rolled me out. I went from not even knowing how to count bars to being in a seventy-five thousand dollar studio with the engineer saying, "Man, they said you was dope. Spit some." I'm an hour off the Greyhound. From Kalamazoo to downtown Mindy. That's how my journey was. Man, I want to rap. Ain't no studios in Kalamazoo. My homie really? in Minnesota. Hey, bro, come here. Hopped on the Greyhound with all my gear and all my shoes. And that's how I landed here. <laughs> no bullshit. Damn. That's my... <laughs> Everybody got a story. Yeah, we were talking man. about that. When you come in here, we I like to hear a story. Yeah. I like to hear that yeah. that got it out the mud, but this is where I'm at story. And, yeah. and it, you definitely have that. So sorry to your your friend yeah. that passed away because I yeah. I hate hearing that, yeah. and especially with artists and music when one of our people passed away. It's yeah. always sad, but it sounds like yeah. it motivated you. I mean, I learned a lot from him. You know, he had kids when we was pursuing when we was young, young pursuing music. He had kids, and he would still take his time out. So fast forward, when I had my kids, I remember my homie pursuing his dreams and doing what he want to do. Right. And still, like, I don't neglect my family for this. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just try to strategize to the point where everything's open when I make a move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so he taught me that, man. And he, he, I mean, that man told his mom, hey, mom, I want you to let this stranger live with us. Because he raps, and I think he can rap. And I just met him a week ago through our other homie, can he live with us? And his mom said yes. Damn. And that's how that's I was true. able to that's know real. And, and I ain't talking no no it was what they was decent. So to let a person you don't really know come into your you know what I'm saying? And they did that for me. And uh I remember when he got uh shot. Uh he lived for like eight days. He held on for like eight days. Um and um so I remember flying up and being by the bedside and I remember telling him, Hey fam, I'm going to keep this going. I don't know. This was before I even thought of the famous people. Because his name is Famous Frank. That's his biological name. Really? Facts. His mama named him Famous. Spelled it F-A-M-I-S. Damn. Right? So I'm That's standing. Unique. Facts. I'm standing by his bedside and I say, fam, I'm going to just keep it going. Because we rocked arenas together. We did the American Dream Tour Jeezy at the Target Center NBA arena. You feel me? The yeah. only local act on the ticket. We rocked that all the way down from every club you could think of in Minnesota to every college you could think, right? So when I lost him, I lost a homie, 
and I lost a, a group member, so to speak. We wasn't a group, but we was a we was a part of a label at that time. Right. We on records. Shout out, we on records. Damn. Put me on, showed me on to a lot. Independent label, showed me a lot, like big boy. <laughs> so it's like, man, took me in and just showed me a lot. So I told my fam, I'm gonna keep it going. I don't know how long. And then I flew back down. His mom hit me like a day later. We gotta take him off because he pretty much wow. gone. And you know, okay, cool. And then maybe a year and a half, two years, maybe three years later, I'm just riding and I'm like, man, the famous people, straight like that. I can't remember where I was. I was in traffic though, stuck in Brush Hour in Houston. Mm -hmm. And I said, the famous people. I said, that's dope. Hit my man like, bro, TFP. That's how we got this. Hit my man in Kalamazoo, hey fam, TFP. I wanted to look kind of like this. Terrible drawing. My man, my man sent Terrible me. Drawing. My man sent me back this, and it's been the stamp, man, for real. Did you tell his mom about it? Yeah, she that's my. That's my. That's like my mom. I'm sure she. She like. Yeah, that's like my mom, it. man, and we we been rocking with it to the point where I got the world, not the world, but people that have, have never met him in the world, right? Right. Saying the famous people, like for real. Yeah. Whenever I drop, I drop these. I drop fifty of these, and they sold out. You know what I'm saying? You might not even people might not even know who I am, but I got influence though. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing I want to talk about is gauging. In, it's about influence. Right. You can have 50,000 followers, but can you pick this up and get things moving? Can you pick up your cell phone and push buttons and get things moving? That's influence. Right. right? Absolutely. And that's where, that's my, that's my mantra. That's how I get out. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I can make some things shake with this, Yeah. but it, it ain't for everybody. You ain't gonna know, you know? And it's like in this era you take a loss by not showing your hand because perception is reality. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you but it takes a strong person to stand firm and say, Man, I can't show my hand. I got twenty cash. I can't put it on Instagram though. I mean, it would yeah. it would make I would, I would, Yeah, but it, but to the world oh it would be a good day. The majority is gonna say, Man, woo And that's why people taking the bait and then you got people like us. We I know. I know. Yeah. You feel me? And I know I can make things shake. So it's like all of that wrapped into makes the art, man. Staying true to yourself. High level quality. You know what I'm saying? The, the fabric, the, the merch, the music. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like just well rounded and well balanced, man. And give them something they can respect. Quality over quantity. That's it. That's all I Most care about. Death. That's all I care about. So how many albums? I mean, how many Straight albums? Catalog. Look, are you in? Yeah, yeah. When you yeah. have a catalog, you can no longer be like five or six. Straight you catalog. have a catalog. Straight catalog. I mean, we can't even talk before streaming, right? So if we right? just talk that, streaming, what, what happened to that period before streaming? Like, dropped, that, where's that music? I lived off my album in '05. Facts. Rats. Did you you hit the streets with it too? Like, because I know the car car show. We used to hit up the car show all the time in Houston. You ever hit up the car show? Not in not in Houston. Damn. But now it's like I'm. I ain't trying to say I'm past all that. But right. No. no I just exactly. went on to try to be more efficient in other ways. But you see, I still press up. I mean, and yeah, I still this is, come. <laughs> sometimes I miss this period. Me too. Like, That's do, why I still do, do it. That's why when I drop these, if you look, it got this on the side. So the bundle dropped. When I dropped oh, that EP, okay. I dropped the hat. It got, I got red too, so I dropped the red and blue. You get your red, get the blue, get both. You get the copy of that. You don't gotta open it. It's streaming. It was just something, to, something tangible. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, I say, I say that because we as artists, like the social media took over the internet, yeah. and it's like nobody be on the streets no more. Right. I, I can't tell you. So it's no interaction. I don't see this no more. Yeah, it's, it's no interaction, and that's an interaction tool. And I feel you like we saying? need to hit the streets because not all the everybody on the streets, yeah. believe it or not, is not on social media. Yeah. Some, some of us don't want to be on. Some of us use social media because we have to. I'm one of those, right? People. Yeah, me too. I, I, I <laughs> know say, it's, I have that. to use it, but man, do I hate it sometimes? Yes. I don't even have a Twitter. I gave up on Twitter like ten years ago. It just oh, ain't for no. me. <laughs> Like I don't. We like, just talk about I don't, Twitter I don't, and miss. because it's like I don't. If I look at your page and you got a hundred followers, I'm still not gonna assume you have no pool. Right. But this era, hundred followers, man. They feel like man, that might that man might have some you can some news you really can use. Hundred followers. Yeah. Labels. They don't talk that's to what you. labels. 
Exactly, the numbers. And it's it, it, the coldest artists sometimes don't even have those numbers because they're not even, when they not even on social media like that. When you check out the catalog, I run anybody in the ground. I run anybody in the ground just off the level, off the tier. You got to be on the tier first. Feel me? If we tier one, tier two, tier three, you got to be on my tier first. Right? And this right. is like... This is like Gucci slippers right here, man. The music when you turn it on, it's like it's like a, a rare blend, man. It's like sipping wine and going from white to red. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's for. And that's you know, I'm 38, man. I gotta make music for the people that's you know going to college, finna be doctors, finna be realtors, finna be you know. I got a homie that's in Detroit, man. He finna be the next. Who knows what the property? And he 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 makes money to this. You feel me? Nah, yeah. So it's like, it's crazy, man, because, quick story. South by Southwest 2019. They just, they canceled this one. So 2019, right? right? I'm at uh, the Rail Carter, the, the culture tour house. Right? Dope party, by the way. And uh, I see what they're doing, and I'm like, man, we should bring this to, to Houston. That's what I told Rail. This is Jay-Z nephew. Okay. This is what I tell him. I said, we should bring this to Houston. He said, make it happen. Done deal. I he bark his ear off. Hit my people. Back to influence. Right? Right. Hit my people. Live up. Hey, fam, I'm going to bring Jay Nephew. We're going to make it happen. I'll call you later. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A day or two later, it's contractually worked out. Right? So, fast forward. Rail Carter comes to Houston for the culture tour at Live Oak, presented to you by me. Is teaching artists how to get paid off their music down to sound exchange being the net to catch, like how you name it. You're writing, you're publishing, you splits, just everything about the business, right? I, I I brought that to Houston, right? Right. And I was sitting in Live Oak and I tell Real, I say, look, man, if you go on my, I didn't even have a thousand followers then. I say, man, if you go to my Instagram right now, I got about maybe 900 something followers, fam, but dig this. You landed in Houston on a Friday, you hit me. I didn't even know you was gonna need my services on a Friday. We contractually Saturday, right? Right. He hit me and say, he, he, can, he, can I get him some bookings? I ain't a promoter, I don't do none of that. But let me Whoa. let me use my influence. Mm -hmm. Hey fam, hit the people up at, um, uh, what we do, we did the address. Hit, hit your people up at the address. I'm using my connections. I'm two layers removed with the connections, which is colder, might I add. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like a ghost. But I hit my people. Hey, fam. Uh, I need woo, woo Make it happen. Boom. Big section. Two bottles of Douce at the address. Get off the phone. Hit my other people. Hey, fam. Now I'm trying to show out, right? To show right. him. Yeah, 900 and something followers, but watch me work. Right? Mm -hmm. Hit my people up at Seaside. Hey, fam, I need a bottle of Douce in a section. I'm going to bring real. So I took him from Seaside, mm -hmm. comped, section bottle to the address, comp section two bottles. And I told him, because that was, mind you, that's, that's, that's Friday. Mm -hmm. Right. Our deal is Saturday. I see him Saturday at Live Oak at our function, and I tell him, I say, man, you see last night? I say, you see how I pulled them strings? He said, yeah, man. I, I say, man, you gave me an hour. You hit me when you landed, and I made it happen in about an hour that or two was hours. a little time. Right? Seaside to the address, boom, 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 right? He said, yeah. I say, man, labels need to change their algorithm and how they, how they um, look at picking artists to invest in. Because I've sat with Rock Nation. 2014, I sat with Lenny S. And how was that? You know what I'm I've saying? I've heard of Lenny S. So how was that process? It's like, super dope. But me being me. They told me, shout out to Lenny S, by the way. He told me make I need to make fun music. That sounds and now you know talk. cool. And I left out that office and I never called him again. Facts. Right? I sat with Atlantic. Riggs Morales, the one that's responsible for signing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. And what's crazy is all of this you will never even see on social media. I'm telling you because we sitting here. Right? Absolutely. So it's like, I say to artists, like, man, when you go in these labels, man, A, you got to understand now you got to create leverage or you just wasting your time. Right? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, really, labels don't find you. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, you got to understand, man, if, 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 if you 
barking down the label, man, and they do do a deal with you, man, it's going to be worse than the one that, that they gave you when they found you. Because you're getting a bad deal. You're getting a bad deal. Every artist that signs is getting a bad deal. I heard somebody else Your say that. Your initial deal is trash. Else say that. Your initial deal is trash. It's just what you do with it. It's opportunity, right? Yeah. So it's like me being, once I sat with Atlantic and Rock Nation, that's when I found out I'm not fit for the labels. Because I'm not going to tap dance. I'm not going to play. I'm not going not gonna to do nothing. Or be on Twitter where you dumb yeah. down your music and shit. And that's what I told Real. Look at my influence with my 900 some followers. And y'all need to really look into that because there's people out here with real pull. No, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm totally saying? And, and because that's what they base it on, man. What your followers looking like? Now, I've had people tell me, man, get your followers up. Same, same mm -hmm. here. I we talked about that. that last year. I give you yeah. my real life on Instagram. My real life. Period. From me waking up as a dad to me being an artist. I give you everything. You know what I'm saying? I've had people tell me, man, my Instagram don't look like a rapper. Not a rapper. I'm a creator. I'm an artist. How right. What What does that even mean? How is the Instagram supposed to look? I get that. She doesn't look like a female rapper, and I just be like, how? Right. How the fuck is it? You know why? On your end, I'm pretty sure it's because you're probably not revealing enough. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're I You're probably not I'm ignorant like, enough. On yeah, my end, yeah. it's probably I'm not showing guns or money or stunting, like you said, with the money. Like the big homie say, man, if you don't see it, man, they, it's around. It's around. You know what I'm saying? I don't think because they ain't show it. It's a wrap. So what do you do? What do you tell yourself, though, when you know you are that good to be on a mainstream label? What is your mind frame after that, though? Like, independent, and then some people struggle with, okay, I'll stay independent, but I don't know how to make money independently. So they well, feel like they need a label. I mean, I always believe, man, you got to fund the hustle. You know what I'm saying? Before right. you would probably do a legal activity to do it. Now it's almost impossible to do that in the long game, right? Mm -hmm. So I always believed in high powered employment. You know what I'm saying? When I say high powered employment, I mean, you know, go get you a job that's gonna pay you fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a year and right. you can invest in your craft at a high level. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Smart. Like period. And and what's crazy is I've wrote all my albums on the clock, on salary. Get out of here now. Facts. I done wrote a book on salary. But <laughs> I don't got time to write at home like that, really. 75% yeah. of my work has been at a desk. Because I've always, if I'm in an office and I'm, and I'm, you know, right. I ain't really got to, I got deadlines. I don't really got to work all day. So it's like, man, I'm just writing some of man, your best Trust shit. me, man. These corporate companies have paid me to write these albums. I can assure you that. You, <laughs> I use their time. Because it's all a formula. Everything, man, it's a formula, and that's why I always tell people, man, you can't get, you can't get, um, you can't let nobody speed you up, man. You can't let nobody. The the biggest, um, what what man, what's the saying, man? The biggest thief of joy is comparison, right? You cannot. I can see something in everybody and admire it, and I'm not that's gonna weird. think nothing about what it has nothing to do with me. If anything, I'm gonna feel like. I'm, a, I'm finna do that. People need to understand. So, you that. feel me? So it's like, man, people can parent like, no, you are you, I'm me, I do what I do how I do, you do what you how we do. If we compatible, we can bounce ideas, but it's all, everybody wants to be one person, one or two people. Right? Right. So it's like, come on, man. And I care, like, about the art, for real. When you listen to my music, man, all I'm gonna say is, because everything ain't past that. Man, I've done things. But in my music, you won't hear me talk about it like that. And if I do glorify any type of illegal activity, I say it's so clever to where mm. your child can be right there and not catch that bar and know that that was illegal activity. Right? Because it's not just, I, I don't cuss really if you listen to my music. I don't really, I cuss when I want to. Right. I don't cuss to get to the next word. You know what I'm saying? And that's all art. You know, it's I not, mean, it's definitely it art, has become yeah. easy. It didn't start out easy by trying to be more conscious about my music because it's all genocide. I got three cousins serving life for murder, and I and 100 percent is it was the music. Everybody mm -hmm. can't filter. You think uh, the influence of the music? Yeah. yeah Everybody I've can't heard filter. I've heard you know what I'm saying? Heard that. Everybody cannot. Indulge the same way. Was was from the art to reality. Yeah. Everybody can't digest it the same, right? 
And that's why I got three cousins serving life all pretty much for murder and they all regret it. I hate right? They yeah. got you right. So it's like so in my music, you know what I'm saying, I have to be responsible. I got three daughters and one son. I have to be responsible. I just mm. have to. I see mainstream, yeah, they probably don't like that because they want you to be the Come rapper that's like, I kill, on. kill. Come on. Yeah. And I don't run behind them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I can hit real right now, man. I ain't called him sister party. No shade, but it's just yeah. like, what we doing? You Is do. he signed to make I mean, well, he's, 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 he has a, a job at Rock Nation. I'm oh, pretty okay. sure. I don't know the exact title, but he got a dope tour that they do for indie artists. They want to do things at a high level where really? it travels from city to city. Free plug, real. Free plug right here, real. You know what? <laughs> that was a free plug. But they travel from city to city and you pay, you know, a, a, a reasonable amount to get knowledge, to perform if you want to perform. Like I performed in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. I went to the one in Austin. We I brought the one here. It's the culture tour. The, the, I've heard the, of that. The tour. pandemic slowed I've it down, heard but of that tour. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's dope. But it's like I partake in stuff like that. I do That's side nice. by Southwest. But stuff I don't, that has me. Yeah, but too. when I do side by Southwest, it's our itinerary. We going to this brunch, network with these people. We going to this uh, Spotify playlist party, the network. What are we doing? Oh, we that's it? Nah, fam, I'm cool. Oh. You know, I'm just, I'm that artist, man. It has to be efficient. Mm. It has to be efficient. That makes sense. Productive, man. We'll look up and we'd be don't waste money. Oh, oh, and time, with though, no, right? And time with nothing to touch. <laughs> No and results. that's the worst. That's the worst. And it's a lot of you. I know you wouldn't be surprised because we see it a lot. Like it, a lot of artists, they have nothing to show, and it's just like, what were you doing? Like eight hours at the studio, like you know, no project, no, six hours. Yeah, of, um, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not even stuff not mastered. Man, I remember my mom was like, man, you go to a studio where you can't smoke. Yeah. Because that's how you're there for. If I choose to partake in that, I'm gonna come that way. Right. I don't have time to do that in the like man, I ain't got time to do that. But and but Probably. this is the crazy part. Them artists that be in the lab for eight hours, ten hours, on on that label on that label budget, who you think paying for that? You uh, you are. You paying for that. Your million dollar deal that's really a hundred and fifty thousand dollar deal. Fifty racks. And ain't took care of nobody yet. Right? So you lock yourself into a major, not even understanding the paperwork. Mm. Facts. People listening to this know, man, they they brought me weak paperwork. Yeah, let me get that to my entertainment lawyer. I had the oh, same man. entertainment lawyer Big had for Ray to die at one point in time. Facts. Really? They are popping my shit, man. I don't ever get hey, to pop my shit. Hey, that's what you're here for, to pop yeah, your shit. Yeah, man, but get oh, your entertainment show. lawyer, man. Oh, take dang. These, come on, man, that thick book, man, you ain't, come on, man. But I've had contracts, man, where if I would have signed it, man, they was out, they, they could take out, um, Things in my name using my tax ID number to. Wait a minute. Yeah. What? Now that's just. It's like if it's like if I did that deal with you, you would have authority to use my information to get a Mercedes Benz Sprinter, and on it you would say this is what I need to manage and be able to take care of Natra's things efficiently. That's what Jerry Heller did with uh, NWA. Oh, he took a lot of stuff that. out in Fact. Dre's name. So like so <clears throat> the whole the Dre whole Dre signed off on yeah. somewhere in Not Dre um Easy Easy yeah, yeah. Easy yeah. Somewhere in that paperwork you signed off that he yeah. could do these. So and then the name too. Wow. So like, yeah. if a studio gives you like a, a stage name or whatever, they own the rights own to that. Oh, I know that. Yeah, because they've yeah. been trying. They've been trying to creative steal. control. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 These yeah. artists that you see doing their hair like that, man, that's they. That a lot of that is you don't control. Have creative yeah, control. Put on this when Mason was dancing in shiny suits. That was creative control via Sean Combs. Wear this. You don't wear it. You in breach of contract. Oh yeah, Sean used to tell Biggie what to wear sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was in bigger than that Biggie movie. Oh, yeah, that's awful. Come on, you gotta make sure your paperwork. You gotta send it Damn, off to. That's some look what the Migos shit. going through. They lawyer was QC's lawyer. How you don't you know that? That's like you trying to protect my best interest with the people that pay you. You know who you gonna look out for, yeah, bro, right? Yeah, you gonna yeah, look out yeah. for them. That's crazy. I'm your client, but you gonna look out for that's your right. boss. For your yeah, for your people. Right, but how don't you know that your lawyer is? That's a conflict of interest. You could, yeah. you should know yeah, that. You, yeah, we at my last show. Well, it was a while back. We talked about uh, Megan The Stallion and her deal that yeah. she went through and how she was signed to like 
several labels yeah. and it was it's unfair but it's yeah. just like we, you gotta be careful like you say you have to time, because but like you said when i was walking in and and i overheard 150 racks cash to a person that ain't never had nothing you out of there yeah that's what they're doing right i think it was something around like seventy five thousand dollars. what puffy gave the locks when he found them in the hood in yonkers that's a lot of money. To and that's why they the signed over. That's why they've been fighting and fighting and fighting. Yeah. When all about the Benjamin's baby come on, right. man, did he get that check? They probably worked out something. But initially, man, did he get... Did, come on, man. Paperwork. They better start getting... Man. You think sometimes it's possible that they 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 are being told, you um don't sign this, you don't get this, period. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So they be like... they. They take the dumb route by saying, well, I'd rather be on the label not making money than in the right. streets not known. Right. Like a fame deal. Yeah. They call them fame deal. Yeah. Oh, 360 guys. Yeah, definitely. But it's all strategic, man. Don't think these labels ain't knowing, hey, man, chance nine times out of ten you coming from poverty. Right? Nine right. times out of ten you coming from poverty. Right? All all the labels are. It's all one label, pretty much, man. Mm -hmm. One or two labels. Now, yeah, I was right? about to say. Back in the day, it used to be right, a but few now, it's now one yeah, it's just so like, like two now. You 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 attack your enemy when they weak. Man, I'm finna get you the fam. I'm finna get you everything that's in, right? I'm finna get you everything that's in. Yeah, million dollar contract. We finna let's do it. You get 150 racks. They make 10 mil off, off, off everything that y'all did and mm -hmm. tell you, well, guess what? We made 10 mil, right? Mm -hmm. We gave, well, look, no, let's just say this. They give you a million dollars. They give you a million dollars, right? They make 10 mil. You see, the, you see, the, it's kind of like what Tory Lanez went through with Interscope. Mm -hmm. You see the paperwork and see that you got one mil up front. They made 10 mil. Where is your, what, what are you getting off that 10? Well, guess what? We made 10 mil. We gave you a million dollars, right? Right. Well, actually, now we finna talk about you the recouping that your contract says you have to do for that million, right? That's what happened to TLC, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, TLC. So guess what? Was, since, yeah. since you came talking, I'm just speaking from a label. Since you came talking with your pole mouth, Mm. Let's tally up what you owe us. The yeah. private jet that time. Ooh, the that time. The music, Thirty thousand <laughs> music videos. Yeah. Oh uh, my. Hotels. Right? Yeah. I studied Ooh. this. Man. It's the reason why yeah. Busta Rhymes had to leave Electra back in the day. The million dollar video, that Janet Jackson video. Oh yeah. You gotta yeah, recoup that. that. Yeah. You you have to recoup anything you take. You have to recoup. So the smart yeah. thing would be if they give you a million dollars, man. Situate everything, man, to the point where you still playing with seven hundred grand. You know what I'm saying? Eight hundred grand. Right. We have to be talking about a million after taxes, right? Because if oh, we yeah, just talk about a million, you ain't even. Say, yeah. Let's just say a mill. Yeah. You you get a million dollars, man. You got to be smart with it. I would plan for the album tanking. I would plan for the work. I'm, I'm going to put this money to the side. I'm going to situate this, this, this. But we're going to put this money up and let's just plan for this album to tank. Because guess what? At the end of the day, contracts can be bought out. Yo Gotti bought himself out of a bunch of them. Mm. Got had a bread. Yeah, I heard about that. Got the bread, yeah, man. It's I negotiable, man. But artists don't think about that because it's about looking like it, not being it. Right? Yeah. I got to be it. Right? I got to yeah, like, be it just in case. It's time to be it. Right? You yeah. can check everything I'm talking about, man. It's certified. Man, I got people that vouch for me, man, that that man knows what he's talking about. He's a steward of the game. He creates art at a high level. He drops every year. He supports people, you know what I'm saying? Right. Who trying to do the same thing, right? Because I feel like I'm, I'm ascending, right? But I look back at the younger people coming up, right? Like the people that really do it, I see me and it's like, yeah, man, I'll fly in for your video, fam. Might cost me a thousand dollars when I think about it. Flight, hotel, trap. But I'm not saying, hey, bro, I need you to pay me for the verse or something. Why would I ask you to do something I know you can't do? Right? But I know I can come in in my influence, spit a high 16, show up for the video, and, and give you a. Uh, right. right? That's what we're here for. We all use each other. It's how you mm -hmm. use me, right? Yeah. It's yeah. how you use me. People lying to you if they say they ain't never used you. 
Right? I'm mean, working it. This uh, scary, but didn't we just talk about that? Yeah. I was not talking to somebody. Doing the truth is nah, like I was saying that was the mentality with my podcast. Yeah. Getting my. But you the whole thing with Asha, that, yeah. Like, and look what happened with the video, the, with the interview I did with Asha. Yeah. The truth is universal, man. That's that's And, I, some and that's. Shit. But when you listen to the music, it's pretty much how I'm talking and saying. That's, that's what I'm giving in the music. It's right. just an audio and it rhyme mm -hmm. with a beat. You know what I'm saying? But I'm giving knowledge, man. That's real. No, I'm giving it all, all day. Cause and have you have you got to put music on Spotify? I'm everywhere. I wanted everywhere. to ask you, can we play something? You, you right. At least one song. You know what I want you to play? Let me I, know. I want you to play. I, I let's talk about it. So it's this artist out of Dallas. Shout out Mizarelli, right? Okay. Shout out Mizarelli, one hundred. It's a he, he's a producer. I'm sorry, out of Dallas, and you know we we've, we've collaborated on um, every album I drop. He he gives me, he blesses me. Okay. Right. And he don't even he, like Snoop say, do it on the strength of love. You ain't got to call my lawyers. You know, we, you know what I'm saying? Real life love right. and support. And uh, we dropping the EP. Right. He's a producer. He's dropping the EP featuring me. So I'm rapping on everything. Okay. And we just dropped a single called Hold On. Off his, it's called Honorably Famous, cause he's the honorable class. I'm the famous people, so we drop an EP called Honorably Famous. You can put in uh, M E E. M E E. Z Y. Mm -hmm. R E. L L I. Okay, I found him, and then. Hold on. And then, okay. We gotta check this one out. I'm yeah. getting ready to play this one, y'all. Can I explain something before you play it? Of course, please. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't. No, no, you're doing you. <laughs> please explain. But this, this, so the EP came about Honorably Famous. Um, it's, it's his first um, installment because what he's going to be doing is dropping other EPs with other artists. Like a producer wants to work with dope artists and you create four, five records, drop it. So that's what he's doing. So this is the first installment. Honorably uh, Famous. Uh, Measy Relly presents. This record right here, hold on, we created for the pandemic, like, hold on right wow. like no matter what hold on get 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 yourself to yourself man and, and like my big homie say man jump back and kiss yourself when the nights get long you feel that's right uh hold on right here man hey the that's the side of shakur saying too I can get on the beat a lot too. 
Man, the catalog does have some bop to it. You that was nice. You know what I'm saying? So that was Hold On, and that's a me that's I'm Measy sorry, EP. Measy Relly is an honorably famous on. EP. Yeah, that's that's, that's nice. Yep. Yeah. And that in your hand right there is the, if it was up to y'all. Yeah, let's. You mind um, in the camera holding this up and and let's talk about this. Um, what inspired this piece right here that we are holding and blessed to receive today? Bam. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, man. Like, for real. Because I see writing in the bag. Like, that's look, my, that's my detail. lyrics. That's oh, my lyrics. Okay. Man, shout out AY Imagery back home, Kalamazoo, Michigan. It was his idea, too. He hit me. He was like, hey, man, write your lyrics down on some piece that's of paper different. and crumble it up and take a picture and send it to me. Because if you look on the bottom, it say, blended with the times. Betty showed me Christ. It's often mentioned in my lines. Positioned in my prime. A sentence at a time. When it wasn't about no gimmicks, it was simply about your lines. When labels couldn't put a worth to it, too much turmoil to make twerk music. <laughs> I ain't selling dope, so they go rap music. Nah, scratch that. I ain't selling dope, so they go trap music. Me and Fame versus five niggas walk back to it. <laughs> Come on. Hey. <laughs> but this right here, though, man, I was sitting. I was sitting, and I'm like, like, man, I, I, I want to see everybody win, right? Like, I genuinely, like, I'm the guy where I could see, I could see an avenue for somebody. Way over there, and I'ma hit you. Hey fam, remember you were saying about blah blah blah. Well, I met so, right, right. It's so easy to not do that and provide opportunity. That right? is so true. Right, hit or miss, right. That but I'm so gonna true. extend the olive branch, man. Like I do. network, conduit, use me to right. So I'm like, man. But what would they want for me? Hmm. And I was like, man, I'm gonna drop an EP, and I'm like, but it can't be. What, it, what would they want for me? That just sound corny, right? So I'm like, what would they want for me? What would it, if, it, if it was up to you, would, if it was up to y'all, if it was up to y'all, what would you want for me? Because I, 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 I pray you get all your heart desires, right? But if it was up to y'all, what would you have for me? And that's what this EP was. like. Not like that, speaking to that, but it's like, the intro with Will Jordan, shout out Will Jordan. Right. That's the boy that wrote, uh, he wrote on with Nicki Minaj and, and Rihanna, uh, the Fly record. That's awesome. Yeah, like super dope out of Tacoma. Okay. Um, yeah, so that intro, you know what I'm saying? Like, it speaks to it. That's why it's self-titled, you know what I'm saying? If it was up to y'all. And it's just like, what would you have for me, right? I want to see you win, but do you want to see me win? Kind of like, man. Let me know, man. Let me know what it is, man. So I can, I can stop. I will leave it alone. I just, I just won't wish you nothing. Right. But don't let me exhaust my vibrations, man. Praying you, hoping you win. If you don't, you know. So if it was, and I got, if it was, so this been out, right? Mm -hmm. This been out. I just pressed it up and did the bundle with the hats. But I got, if it was up to y'all too, like T O O. And is that a is that another EP? Another EP. Okay. That's cool. drop. That's dropping ASAP. The, the pandemic slowed me down, but oh, uh, who didn't? It yeah, slow but it's gonna be if it was up to y'all too. T O O. Like if it was up to y'all. Okay, well if it was up to y'all too. Like if I forgot about y'all, this <laughs> right. this for y'all, man. And so it's like that's what that is, man. And it's it's all art, man. If it was up to y'all, yeah. every piece is gonna be like that. Like my catalog, I got start my tab, put it on my tab, keep my right. tab open, right. I got those, so it's like I got 1125, which the artwork is the house I grew up in, 
right back home in Michigan, and it's it's all pure like from the production to the it's crazy, man. You gotta check that eleven twenty five. I'm 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 gonna check that out. I'm it's gonna crazy. check that out. That's and November twenty that fifth. The eleven twenty five. No, that's the album. Eleven twenty five. But you think quick by saying November. 25th. It's my birthday, so that's why I was like, Hold <laughs> no, on, that's my that? address. That's the name of the oh, house that really? I grew up in. Okay, eleven cool. twenty five Jefferson. Shout out Northside, Missouri. That's dope. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna listen to this one first. Yeah. This is the one I got uh, first, yeah. and I'm gonna check that one out. And you know, you gotta keep us posted. That's it, man. Um, that's it, and it's geez. it's crazy. Yeah, art, man, real art, man. The platform you provide, man, like people gotta use it. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? I'm gonna tap some people in too, so you're gonna get. Hey, some, I appreciate yeah, that. Most definitely. I appreciate that. I got so, a homie that got some fitness going on, man. Hey. Boy's crazy. Shout Bring out him. fit. Shout out Fit Lifestyle. And Bring he does a lot of the fitness oh, I got, uh, people, yeah. so we gotta definitely bring him most in. Definitely. Uh, your person. He's gonna studio. tap in with you. Okay. Well, I hate to wrap it up. This Me was too. a dope one, y'all. This was really, really dope. So, um, shout out your uh, social media. No problem. So that's Natra underscore the famous people. That's N A T R A underscore the T H E famous F A M I S, and then people spell like people. P E O P L E. Natra underscore the famous people. DM me for the merch. We got the Fall Learn Life famous people merch dropping, and it's pieces. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm dropping pieces for the moment. Like it's a moment in time piece. So when we drop content, we gonna drop merch with it. So it ain't gonna be something you just gonna be able to buy. When you get ready to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's gonna be pieces. And um, yeah, man, shout out my fiance at the crib. Shout out my my uh, three kids, Kendrick, Naren, Lauren. Shout out Addison on the way, September 14th. My third girl. You know what I'm saying? It's real life. I'm gonna give you my real life every time you come in contact with me. That's real. We you know appreciate saying? you so much yeah. for coming down to the station. Gotta yeah. have you again. Yeah, most gotta definitely. Have you again. Anytime, man. We gotta do. We gotta create. We gotta. My mind going a million miles, yeah. man. So it's like we gotta create something, man. That's we good will. for the culture, man. Cause we what you're doing, man, is super dope. Um, yeah, and I might have to pick your brain because we got the podcast outspoken in crowd. Do it. Yeah, I mean, it. I'm always up for networking, yeah. and when the studio opens back yeah. up and we all can be out in yeah. that area, yeah. we had already said we wanted yeah. to do a big mix or something, so we would love to man, collaborate. Man, or something. whatever you want to do, man. Whatever okay. you want to do, where you want to do it. I wanted to do it here when everything okay. opens back up because okay. it's a big space. So, Super dope. Yeah, so Super dope. if they cool with it, we'll yeah. definitely... We could do the mixer here and do the, the after joint at Live Oak. That would be right yeah. up our alley. Yeah, yeah we that can way do that. We can, that way we can be on one level and then level up. When yeah. We, you know what I'm <laughs> yes. So, yeah, let's let's make it happen. All right. Yeah, well, thank you guys happen. so much for tuning in to the Miss Blue Radio Show. Stay tuned to the Unrestricted Show with Barry Media. Y'all have a good one. Stay blessed. So. Oh, man, that was good. Yeah, that was they step back when they see me like they hard and son. With his chicks, so we looking like pardon, son. 45 inch bench, then it's worth the time.